boom, go hit it, right? Rip that shit. But when I did, when I pulled it, I felt like a, a hot, burning, tearing sensation almost in my groin region, like above my d low key, like in the, the, the region, if you will. Ooh, I know what that means, you know, not good, right? And I even went and told my coach, I was like, coach, after that pull, like, I don't know, that kind of hurt. And he was like, do you want to get the record? And I said, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on? It's me, Who's Your Toddy. We're back again with another video. Today's video was supposed to be, oh, what's up, Katie? Today's video was supposed to be just a little bit of like a, you know, recap of my past two weeks. I have had, had, had a wild ass two weeks and then I was in the shower and I, I realized this, this whole, everything that's been happening for, to me for the past two weeks is an accumulation of events that started four years ago. So I was like, why not make it a story? How do I want to after Christmas, I think is when it happened. I don't remember. I just know it was junior year. That much I can tell you. I, I have to go on Instagram. I don't have Instagram anymore. I deleted that to, you know, work on that whole self-improvement shit. So we ain't, we ain't be able to check right now. We can't check tonight or something, you know, whatever. I'll figure out the exact rough dates. I'll get that picture and all that good jazz. Four years ago, I was in high school, junior year. We were lifting. We were doing deadlift max, right? Everybody knows what the deadlift is. If you don't, I'll put up a picture of someone doing it. And I don't know if it's important to the story, but I'm going to pretend like it is. But we were using a hex bar. We weren't using a regular straight bar. We're doing our deadlift max. I was always a really strong deadlifter. I never had never had issues with it from freshman year all the way to senior year. I was always good at deadlift. And so I took a lot of pride in it. I wanted to be the best. I wanted to get the school record. I wanted to do all that good jazz. And so when deadlift max day happened, I was stoked, right? I was ready for this fucking record. And my fucking cat is like playing with a straw up here. Whatever, let him do his thing. We are going hard. Everybody is just building up the bar keeps getting heavier people keep ripping it and we eventually hit five plates and only i think three kids including myself hit five plates maybe even just one but all i know is everybody was expecting this one kid and i ain't gonna use his real name we'll call him keith they got this one motherfucker named keith he thought that he was gonna or not even he everybody except for me I was the only one who believed in myself. Everybody thought that that motherfucker was going to be the deadlift winner. He's going to take the, he's going to hit the highest, heaviest deadlift of that group of kids, right? Everybody thought that except me. He goes to hit five plates. He tries, I should say. He doesn't get it. He can't pull it. And I, knowing that I can hit it, I was like, I'm ready. I'm fucking stoked. I'm amped. Let's do it right now. Boom. Go hit it, right? Rip that shit. But when I did, when I pulled it, I felt like a, a hot, burning, tearing sensation almost in my groin region like above my dick low key like in the 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 pubic region if you will Ooh, i know what that means you know not good right and i even went and told my coach i was like coach after that pull like i don't know that kind of hurt and he was like do you want to get the record and i said <laughs> yeah dogs be barking coach goes you want to hit that record i'm like put on more weight so they throw on 10 pounds on each side so that's 515 but the hex bars supposedly weighed more according to my coach they supposedly they weighed 75 pounds but i don't know if that's true or not let's just say they weighed 45 pounds to make everybody happy make nobody go that's not true they're not 75 pounds <laughs> this is what my coach said okay i i was saying they were 45 pounds either way five plates 10 pounds on each side 515 is what i believe that is and i pulled it bro i ripped that shit right off the fucking ground and when i did i screamed i yelled i was like because that fucking hurt right but it wasn't anything that like truly scared me that much like it definitely hurt but i just remember never really doing anything about it i always was just still deadlifting and it never like got worse it never caused me any issues i even had physicals done what i'm saying is is this is when my hernia started but nothing actually came about it i just like no for a fact that was when the tear the ripping in the tear and the ripping and the tearing. <laughs> What is what does all this mean if nothing actually came about the hernia, but I'm telling you about this story that happened four years ago, two weeks ago, 
Today is October 25th, 2023. Two weeks ago on Monday, so that would have been October 9th, 2023. I went to the doctor and I said, yo doc, I'm pretty sure I have a hernia. It's hurting. Will you check me out? I guess I got to go back and even another two weeks before that roughly is when I started to notice like uh, throbbing and more pain and just more hernia related shit. October 9th, Monday. Hold up. We got some more holding up to do. I also posted a video, the first story time, first time I'm getting high. I posted that on monday the 9th so go check that out while you're at it go to the doctor yo doc i'm hurting can you check me out he's like sure um we do the whole physical check if you if you're not a dude um or you've never had a physical what they have to do to check for a hernia is they take their fingers and they like go in between your dick and balls and they push on you and you have to cough and if they, they like feel a push you have a hernia so he puts his finger and there's a little graphic a little tmi warning i'll be honest he puts his fingers down there. He starts pushing on me. And this motherfucker dropped me to my knees, dog. Like I instant death just started crying, hurting bad. I was like, dude, what was that? And he tells me, I can't tell if you have a hernia. It's a 50 50 chance. You're going to have to go get an ultrasound. I said, okay, that's cool. Get the guaranteed, get it figured out, whatever. So he tells me we're going to schedule an ultrasound, all of them and like figure out a good time for you. And I was like, okay, cool. Sounds good. This was Monday, right? Monday the night. I go to work that evening. I close. I get off work. I was supposed to go to the gym because I was supposed to go to the gym. I left my wallet, my car keys, right? Cause it's going to the gym. We're still going to get in the car in like 20, 30 minutes after I got off work, you know, I'm going to eat, do all that jazz and nothing crazy was getting ready for the gym and then my hernia started acting hella funny so i was like you know what i don't want to push myself any harder i'd rather just take it easy and stay home tonight so what did i do fucking laid down went to bed didn't grab my keys didn't grab my wallet and then tuesday rolls around tuesday morning tuesday october 10th 2023 wake up uh i actually wasn't even the one who noticed it was my girlfriend she went out to just go to the bathroom or whatever she noticed that all of the cars were gone. Not just my mom's, not just our housemate Danielle's, but also mine. And I didn't take it. My mom didn't take it. Nobody took it. We're like, fuck, did the car just get stolen? Like, did somebody actually steal our car? I checked my online banking and this was at eight in the morning, roughly, is when we woke up and saw the car was gone. At like 7.15 that morning, someone tried to use my, well, actually, someone did use my credit card at Walmart. So car gone, wallet gone. There was $500 cash in the wallet and they had both my cards they were using trying to use them at walmart luckily got up all the card transactions disputed but i'll never get that 500 dollars cash back i'll never see my wallet back with all of my cards in it my social security picture of my mom and my little brother my brother when he was little he's older than me so my big brother my lucky two dollar bill bunch of cash and the only reason i had so much cash is because we just got paid tips from my work and so i just had the cash on me you know it was it was a big fucking l and what was also in there was my hernia paperwork for the doctor and that's kind of important to the rest of the story we called the cops you know and we called insurance and called the bank and called all these different people i'm still trying to get my cards and stuff figured out i'm just really dragging ass on it because my hernia everything about it is just ass right it's just an ass two days like doctors got hernia shit and then my car gets stolen the next day we spent the entire day talking to police trying to get a car figured out it is october 25th Wednesday, two weeks since this ha has happened, and still nothing. No cars turned up. No, they they know what the girl who stole my car. They know what she looks like. Nothing. I'm gonna put up a picture of my car. I wish I could put a picture of the girl, but the police wouldn't let me have it because it's evidence. Whatever the fuck. If you're the one who stole my fucking car, though, fuck you and your mom and your dad and your boyfriend and everybody else you love. Fuck them and you again. Uh, you're a piece of shit. Give me my shit bag. You know, fuck you. It was really shitty just time, I guess. But what can I say? I, w I was the one who fucked up. Like, motherfuckers just capitalized on my mistake. Nothing I can really do about it anymore. We called insurance, got the car figured out, right? Monday, remember, I went to the doctor. Tuesday, car gets stole well monday tuesday night whenever and remember my paperwork for the doctor for the ultrasound was in the car so friday rolls around at this point no one's gotten a hold of me from the doctor and i was thinking like man you would think that they would call and be like hey by the way like you never called us about your ultrasound because the problem being i didn't know who i was supposed to go to i just knew i had the ultrasound i didn't know where it was oh god i gotta sneeze <laughs> it's friday 
no one's gotten a hold of me no one's gotten shit and i'm hurting right i am dying i'm still working but what i'm realizing is all the standing up and sitting and all the shit that i do at my job is really bad for my hernia because i'm pinching my i'm like doing like like this to the hernia and i'm pinching it down and i can't deal with it like it hurts so friday i go into the doctor and i'm like yo like no one's gotten a hold of me on the ultrasound i don't know what's going on i'm fucking hurting can we can we get some help here and the lady's like why didn't you call him and i was like uh i don't even know who i'm supposed to call and she's like it's on your paperwork and i was like well my car got stolen with the paperwork the day after i was here i don't know who i'm supposed to fucking call so they're like here's the number here's where you're going give him a call we don't even give him a call we just go straight there because like like i said hurting right and we we're hoping if we we're there physically it would just like make things move a little bit quicker no. go in there they are like what's up we tell them what's up they say you're gonna have to leave and we'll give you a call okay sounds good they called me 10 minutes later and they're like will you do you want to schedule a an appointment for today which would have been you know not today not today october 25th today that friday so so monday was the 9th wednesday was the 11th friday the 13th they're like you want to schedule an appointment today sure let's do it go in there get it checked out at noon friday remember that noon friday the 13th and the lady is like looking at me and she straight up says to me are you sure this is where the pain is at and i'm like yeah yeah it fucking hurts right where you're rubbing all across my wiener she's saying this to me and making me feel like i got nothing wrong with me and i'm like i'm just here for nothing right and i'm telling her that she's making me feel this way by her asking these questions and she goes oh no this is just like how we're supposed to ask it. you're doing a terrible job of making me feel like you're doing your job she then also tells me she knows but she can't can't tell me anything and i'm just like that's fucking dumb but okay cover your own ass for sure i'm like how long do you think this will take she's like it will probably be done today if it's not done today it'll be done tomorrow she probably just had that like in her brain because she tells that to everybody all the time forgot that it was friday and saturday being the next day they were closed right so she probably didn't you know think that through either way it doesn't matter get my ultrasound done i go home i'm waiting for the call just waiting for results they said if we don't call you friday call us tomorrow and i didn't i didn't say anything because i didn't realize that they were going to be closed i figured if they were telling me to call them that meant they would be open right right no saturday comes around because they didn't call me on friday i called them guess what they're fucking closed so i get no information i'm just dying trying to figure out what's going on of course i just sit sit around do a bunch of nothing waiting thumb in the ass you know and then eventually actually what did i say nothing fucking happened saturday saturday sunday nobody hits us up monday rolls around still nothing not a single call nothing and it's like nine o'clock at this point nine o'clock in the morning not nine o'clock at night maybe even ten o'clock in the morning i can't remember let's just say ten to make it make them seem worse right ten o'clock in the morning rolls around monday morning this would have been monday monday the 16th or ten in the morning no one's giving us a call. We call them. We're like, hey, what's going on with the ultrasound? You guys said if you don't call, or you're supposed to call me the same day. If you don't call me the same day, call them the next day. Well, the next day you guys are closed, blah, 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 blah. Tell them everything. They are like, bro, we don't even know. Like, we have zero information. We haven't received shit. Huh? It's been four days. And you mean to tell me you haven't gotten a single word about anything with my ultrasound? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, what are we going to do about it? And they go, we'll give you a call back. This is at, you know, like I said, at 10 in the morning 9 in the morning whatever they don't ever call me back i had to run my mom's little dog buford out to pet smart to get get groomed up you know get his butthole shaved and shit since pet smart is right by the spot that we were going to i just stopped in you know pulled up and i when i walked in they were just like what are you doing here <laughs> no they really weren't like that they were just more annoyed if anything I, I went in there and i'm like yo what's good and they just said uh oh yeah give us just one sec we'll get it figured out they go and they get the paperwork and the girl tells me that the paperwork doesn't really tell her much all it says is small inguinal hernia great but that literally tells her nothing tells me nothing except for the fact that yes i have a hernia so i'm like what do you want me to do and she's like we'll get you scheduled for a surgery and i'm like you guys have been giving me the run around for the past week and a half i don't want fucking surgery like I, not from you you know i'm gonna go somewhere else i'm gonna go to someone that will actually help me someone who will like take my pain into consideration so i didn't say all this so this is just what was going through my mind i just tell her you know great cool thanks 
fuck you and i left they didn't even call to schedule surgery till wednesday the 18th which is also an important date but that was the day that they said hey would you like to schedule surgery and i, I just said i've already got it figured out with someone else i didn't already have it figured out with someone else but i just didn't want to deal with these motherfuckers i can't trust somebody to cut me open if they can't even get me the information the same day i forgot something okay <laughs> Rewind a little bit, right? Friday, the 13th at noon, remember, I got my ultrasound done. They didn't ever hit me up. Monday at one o'clock, I went and dropped my dog off. I went into the doctor and I told him what's up. She hands me the little paperwork. I forgot to say this. On the paper, it said that the doctor had seen my picture, my image of my ultrasound, whatever, and had said what it was, had diagnosed me Friday the 13th at 1225 PM. My appointment was at noon Friday the 13th. He did, it wasn't even 30 minutes after my appointment that this motherfucker saw and put down what it was. Was. but they never called me they never told me they never did shit and then when they did they said that they, it wasn't that much information it didn't mean anything to them and they couldn't really do anything with it and i'm just like this is why that was why i decided to have surgery with someone else that whole everything right so wednesday october 18th they called me to schedule surgery i told them fuck off whatever i was i was scheduled off that day that was my first day off and like that was that was the nine day mark i think i can't really remember no yeah it was yeah wednesday was my my nine days in a row without a day off that's what it was wednesday the 18th so i went from october 9th monday all the way to wednesday 18th worked every single day but wednesday i was supposed to have it off i did technically have it off until like 6 30 co-worker of mine hit me up and said hey will you come and work for me i have some personal shit going on and i was like of course bro i got you go to work right at this point for the past like roughly week i was taking anywhere from 600 milligrams to 1200 milligrams of ibuprofen a day for pain of course i popped 600 at 6 30 because i was literally eating dinner right then and there i was like food on my stomach pop some ibuprofen we'll go to work boom get to work and it was a pretty chill day i remember like i physically remember dancing to some music not going crazy i was just getting a little jiggy with it you know but still i was dancing so i was feeling good right i come home nine o'clock 9 30 and i sit down in my chair we'll put on some game of thrones and we're watching game of thrones probably like 20 minutes into the episode and the pain got to me dog like i don't know what happened but i thought i was like i thought i was gonna puke because of the pain like it was just gut-wrenching fucking i don't even know how to describe pain but it was painful it hurt like it was a pinching in my abdomen region is what it felt like like i was just taking something and like twisting it off you know and that's what they that's what all the doctors have been saying this whole time if this happens go see emergency surgery right and i'm like are you fucking kidding me like i, I have an actual surgery not emergency surgery scheduled in like a week not scheduled in a week but the consultation is in a week please don't fuck me like this right body you're talking to my body it was just too much like i couldn't stop shaking i was cold and it was just bad right so i texted my boss i said hey we're going to the doctor first thing tomorrow uh i'm really sorry to do this to you he said it's totally cool get better so go to the doctor on thursday because wednesday night i fucking thought i was gonna die go in on thursday get some other i actually went to colorado fucking had to drive like three and a half hours so i go to see my one doctor and he says go to the er because if it's like that like you're just gonna have to go to the er get to the er talk to the er doctors and he's like i want to do some tests on you because of like these things that you're telling me i'm worried that you know it might not just be a hernia okay so they do an ultrasound again on my nuts this time sorry this is a whole tmi video they do a urine sample and some other shit some expensive ass fucking er bullshit you know just to tell me that i'm fine and i can go home and they're just gonna have to schedule a surgery but it was really cool to get all those answers and get all those get all that information figured out definitely still kind of sad that i spent a whole day in the doctor for nothing essentially nothing um more of a clarity than a nothing today october 25th 2023 tomorrow is october 26th i have a consultation with my doctor to see if i'm gonna or to see when i should say i can do surgery hopefully fucking tomorrow because i every single day the pain and the swelling and things just get worse let's just hope for sooner rather than later i don't know how long it'll take to recover i think it'll be like a week or two of just bullshit pain won't be able to do much of anything in that time i probably won't be able to record or edit or do anything like that so i'm gonna hopefully pump this whole video out tonight 
it's not super important, but let's throw this out there. Since Wednesday, or not Wednesday, whenever I, yeah, Wednesday when I told my boss so a week ago that I told him that I um, had to go to the doctor, I haven't been working since. And so things have just been ass. A whole lot of just ass sitting around, fucking ass. The pain has gone down substantially, I've noticed. It's because I just lay in bed all day or in my sit in my chair. My chair fucking, watch this. Meow. <laughs> It leans back so I can just recline and shit, but it sucks. I'm bored out of my mind. I want to go to work. I miss work. I do like working and I just want to get my shit fixed. So hopefully the doctor can get me fixed up. Hopefully the recovery time isn't too long so I can get back on that YouTube grind. I can get back going to work. Lastly, thanks for watching everybody. Check out my other videos. Check out that other story time for sure. That one was really good. I, I could have definitely done a lot better. Check out that video. Check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the... You know, the spiel, everything like that. YouTuber shit. Um, yeah, guys, I, I don't really know what else to say. I think we're all good. Get a kiss. I love you. Yo, guys, what's going on? We're back. I know I usually don't record uh, nighttime videos because the lighting in here is ass at night. But I just had to say, what is it? 6.52 at like 3.30, 4 o'clock. I recorded the video earlier today. Today's still Wednesday. It's the same day. Just got a call like an hour ago from the cops saying they found the car. We went and checked it out. Car was completely fine. Started up, ran, everything's all good from what we can tell. You know, I can't say it's completely fine yet. We still gotta like have a mechanic check it out and all that good jazz, but car ran and got us home. That was awesome. Obviously none of my stuff's in there. $500 cash, wallet, all that shit, gone. Everything gone, but we got the car back. I waited so long to make this video and I don't even know why. This is why I was just waiting to get the car back, you know? I guess I should tell you what happened with the car. It was when it, when it got stolen, we had a full tank of gas in there. And when we found it, it still had a full tank of gas. So either they refilled the tank or they just didn't even drive it. But it was like three blocks away, parked in front of someone's house, windows rolled down, keys in the car, all our shit gone. So it looks like what I assume happened, they got in the car, they took it, they took all our shit out, and then they just left. They were like, fuck this. They got in their car, the car that they were driving, you know, the one that they probably didn't steal they took that car and they drove off right they went to walmart and they you know tried to use my cars whatever hopefully i can get my other shit back at some point i doubt it though but we'll see I'm pretty stoked about it at the same time fuck those guys still fuck their dad still fuck their mom and their boyfriend all those motherfuckers and their grandma fuck the grandmas yeah fuck all those people i'm gonna hop off i'm gonna get this editing done i'm gonna give y'all a kiss and i'm gonna see you guys later bye how do i want to meow